Why was he locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. I still can't get finished. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. Good. Them, them uh, Rete Tata. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. Hmm. Shadow is so suspiciously hot. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Yeah, but why was he locking it in? Because it wasn't locked before he first came through. So why was he locking it again? As in, hmm, this guy. Why am I making him the biggest suspicious, so, so suspect? Like first of all, first time round. Then return to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. But how you know that if you're still in a you, you two cards that way, like you're not supposed to can see this stuff. See see where I'm going. Then return to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. You're not supposed to see that from here. From the uh saloon man. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. Hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, Shadow, you smart son of a gun. Oh! But he didn't go past the saloon. He, the furthest he went was the saloon. Huh. The furthest he went was the saloon. So, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That means he wanted to isolate everybody. Well, let's say he started by locking his room, which I think is a lounge shadow, right? So it's shadow lock theme room. But then again, we don't know if he went into the captain part where, where, where Sonic was, right? So let's say he him lock with Sonic there. Then he lock theme room and he leave it. Go in at the casino, because all the doors are unlocked. Lock the casino. The part between female and the casino. Lock the, lock the, but hold on, backside, that can't be. Shiza. Now, after Rouge come back, him, 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 him enter the casino, right? And then him got through, him lock the two girls by locking the library door, Deso. Yeah, so him lock the two girls in the um, casino. Go through the someday, lock that, lock my boy in the library. Oh, he may or may not, whatever. But then the furthest he went to the saloon, then he came back and make sure it all locked, like everybody isolated. Oh, that's why him tell Knuckles. Fill him give him the key and tell Knuckles. But that means he have more than one key. What the frick? He have more than one key for the door. So why even have keys, as I said? Right, so he have more than one key for all the doors. That's why I'm getting knuckles the last one, so that when Vector come back now, and you know knuckles listen to him, which he did, funny enough, right? Everybody then will definitely be locked in at their own spots as as long as 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 Vector say, him gone back to film station. So why him do that? We were stuck in a library car. That's when the train sped up. Yeah. Maybe I had a conductor trying to do that. Uh, most likely that's where I'm getting the keys from. The conductor, right? Or I'm just naturally happy because he's a locksmith. Huh. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us. But we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. Ah, I see. I see. I see. But what doesn't make any ducky sense, which is what I can't see, is how the fat Sonic end up from the front to the freaking back. Huh? Oh, this is so good. Oh, my brain. <laughs> my brain is being used, blood. So. Before Sonic, this is what Sonic is at the front. Everybody did lock up. And everybody, that means everybody for their name spot, right? 
but Shadow is obviously the main person because he's the one they're locking doors. So, oh, so, so we would automatically, bah, automatically think that Shadow murder him and teleport his bum bum straight to the um, entry level spot. There, so dining room, yeah, dining room. Why I'm teleporting, I don't know. But with him locking all the doors between each other and out without rooms and all that, it make the five of them in the middle look innocent. And he made the only one look um pardon me. He made the only one look what you name it? Suspicious. But then Rouge makes sure if we go around the place before Shadow came. But it doesn't seem like Rouge went down to the dining hall. Which makes sense because we were at the dining hall. Nobody came before the, the scene sped up. Huh. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon. Exactly. That's why it is. Them, them look innocent. All five of them in the middle look innocent. Yeah, look innocent. Except for Rouge, but whatever. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. If you'd like to be seren serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What are we looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. At this rate, Shadow is too darn obvious, and then Rouge is too second obvious, right? So, at the end of the day, it's either the conductor or the train at this point. And if it's really dead, then yeah, both the conductor and the train. Because then we kill it. Like, it's not a mystery. Hmm. I remember Shadow wanted a plastic bag before. Anyways. What were you looking for? Is any evidence? Okay. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. Oh, well, one knock could say my man already confirmed that. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if SPO was actually in the library car reading. Right. At all times, well, we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of these tales. Absolutely. 